We are now officially into 2023 and now I feel is the perfect time to tell a story that I have been wanting to tell for a very long time now. For this story to be completely contextualised, I think we have to go back to mid-2019 when I first started making videos again. I came back to YouTube in 2019 with a vengeance, completing a lot of different levels, becoming a much better player and all-around better YouTuber. It was summer and I had lots of time on my hands and I was going into my last year of college where I would be completing law, sociology and travel and tourism. On the surface, things were going great, but in my head, I was not in a good place at all. I was beating hard level after hard level. My subscriber count was rising dramatically. I was making pretty decent money too. As we move forward into 2020, it seemed like it was going to be another year of making videos and completing college and eventually moving on to university. But what happened? From this evening, I must give the British people a very simple instruction. You must stay at home. This is where I changed forever. That's right, March 2020 we were told that we were not going to be able to leave our houses for the foreseeable future. Before going into that lockdown I was already definitely not in a good mental space. I was starting to drink a little bit more, which I was never really a big drinker until 2020 and I continued my old habits. So did lockdown help or did lockdown make this worse? For those of you who have been around long enough will know that this did not help at all and I actually started to drink every single day because there was nothing else to do. So I would drink on stream and I would pretty much be just destroying my liver every single night and destroy my relationships too. Finally, May 2020, after what seemed like an eternity of drinking beer, even though it had only been a couple of months, I finally decided enough is enough. Was this really enough though? Not too long after making that video about quitting drinking, I went through a breakup that was very difficult on my mental health, and of course it was amplified by the lockdown. But I went on to complete Coaretta as I planned to, which is to this day still my hardest completion. And I did it without drinking. Throughout this journey to beating the level though, I was extremely anxious and every single day was very difficult to get through. I stopped eating, I lost a lot of weight and I was in short the unhealthiest I've ever been. But I pushed through to beat that level and I finally pulled it off. The truth is, and something that I never could have admitted at the time because I wasn't strong enough, was that I was not ready to move on from my addiction. I didn't have anything else, I didn't have any other purpose in my life at that point. So I continued drinking, but I didn't want to make it too obvious, so I started getting up out of my chair and going for a walk around the room, but really up on that piano was a nice beer sitting there waiting for me, that's the only way I could calm myself down. Now that is a real problem right there. Now let's fast forward a little bit to October 2020. Now this is really when things started to pick up in terms of my popularity on YouTube and also the things that came with that to keep me going. Now this was probably the peak of my YouTube channel ever, even matching those days of bloodbath back in 2016. I was reaching about 650 views per stream and I was making big dough at that point, like big dough bro. After beating Sonic Wave I really felt like I was going into that high life where I was going out every weekend. It was pretty rare to find anywhere that was open even in October time. I was starting to drink lots of vodka and I'd be spending lots of money because I didn't know what to do with this money at the time. I was young and I was naive and of course 
I ended up spending it all on expensive booker, expensive meals, instead of throwing it into my savings and investing in my future. This was short-lived, because by the time we got to December, I'd stopped making videos again. This was really the beginning of the end. And I want to say the end lightly. This was the beginning of the end of an era, let's say. In August 2021, I finished Cybernetic Crescent, the final level of the Crimson Planet Zodiac Ladder. It was now time to complete Zodiac. Although, I was about to start university. So off I went. For about three or four months, I was at university making zero content at all. But there's one thing I was doing more than I'd ever done. And that was drink. Every single day. 2pm till 2am. Drink. I'd wake up late, miss my lectures, go straight back down to weather spoons and continue the grind. And by the grind, I mean spending all of my student maintenance loan on alcohol. What could go wrong? Well, actually, a lot went wrong. <laughs> Holy shit. That was a bad time, man. I wanted to give off the impression that I was loving university. It's the dream, right? Yo, my social life, bitches. Yeah, that, that's really what I cared about. I cared about alcohol and bitches. <laughs> All the bitches were clapped. After five more months of this, it had reached May. And it was truly time for me to stop drinking. New Brandon, Super Brandon. Watch this tomorrow. You need to see what happens when Brandon Lawton gets fucked. This is a version of me that you don't want to see. Are you sober? You're a very intelligent man. And you can pull any bitches you want with your intelligence. However, right now I am very drunk. I know what I'm talking about. Keep working on you, it will work out. Finally. I decided it's time to return. Did I come back? And at this point, I'm at a very different stage in my life. And when I released the road to being back one, all incomplete, everything had changed. Here I am, sober off alcohol, sober off marijuana, and sober from vaping. I am now completely clean. So then, August, something else changed. Something that I felt like I'd been missing for such a long time. I got a job working at Amazon, and this has really changed my life. And that is why I now feel it's a good time to come back, because no longer am I worried about making money. I don't need money anymore from YouTube. If I get money, then great. But I don't need it. And I think that's gonna completely change the way that I see this. So I sit here now on the 2nd of January, 2023. Nearly eight months sober from alcohol. And I feel ready 
complete the Ocular Miracle trilogy, and then I am going to complete Ocular Miracle as a whole level. There is a catch. I am going to be doing it over on Twitch. A lot of things are going to change, but I really think you're going to love it. I've really put a lot of thought into this, and I'm not rushed to come back. I've really made sure this is going to work out, and this is something that I'm serious about. Something that I really hope works. It's been a really personal video, actually, and it feels good to talk about, really. And I feel great at how far I've come in life. I've been hitting the gym all the time. I've lost a lot of weight, finally, from all that drinking. And I feel like there's still one thing missing, and that is my true passion. My true passion is making videos and making music. And I feel like if I'm gonna make videos, I'm gonna get a nice, loyal subscriber base that may also enjoy my music too. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you're still here now, and you've listened to my story, I appreciate that. There'll be another announcement coming up when I am starting my first stream on Twitch. I plan for it to be next weekend. Of course, I am a lot busier with work, but I have every weekend free, and I want to at least consistently stream, even if it's just once or twice a week. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Let's get on it. Goodbye.